for now, please just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Heading out into the Cape Cod Bay to see the world's largest mammal, on board is a naturalist who explains what whale passengers will see. You can see we do have another animal a little ways away, just in front of us at 12 o'clock. Laura Ganley of the Whale Center of New England has been doing this for five years. So they're here from about mid-March, beginning of April, and then the humpbacks will leave in December. And this year, Laura and other marine biologists are seeing an astounding shift in population numbers. That's middle, right, left. Scientists spotted a record 60 endangered right whales in March. That's six so, times the usual number. Stow Egg and Bank is one of the main feeding grounds in the area, so when we have lots of food for them to eat, this is where they want to be. These whales put on quite a show for whale watchers and scientists when they arrived this spring. They traveled thousands of miles to feed. The North Atlantic right whale is one of the most endangered animal species in the world. There's only about 350 to 400 individuals of those left, um, the North Atlantic ones left in the entire world. Several factors can influence it's whale populations, right. especially near urban areas like Boston. Collisions with boats, getting snarled in fishing gear, and eating red tide affected fish all contribute to whale deaths in the Atlantic Ocean. Massachusetts is taking steps to reduce the number of whale collisions by requiring vessels over 65 feet in length slow down to 10 knots in designated areas. That's about 11 miles an hour. If you do collide with a right whale, there's a greater chance that that's going to be a fatal blow. Yep, fluke, firefly, flare from the middle, spout the middle. Whales are increasingly at risk of getting fouled in fishing gear. A new law requires fishermen use special lobster pots to reduce that threat. String used to be able to loop up into the water column. Well, now they want it to sink right to the ground because they think by looping it up into the water column, that was another way for whales to easily get entangled. The Provincetown Center for Coastal Studies has a special permit to disentangle whales. They think that we've hopefully decreased the number of times the large whales come into contact with the large ships. And natural phenomenon including red tide endanger whales. Whales ingest toxins from the algae when feeding on krill. The algae can ultimately be fatal. In 1987, when we saw over 20 mortalities in just one month, just from red tide. To keep deaths low, researchers are listening to whale calls. <laughs> we need uh, Dory. To what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you sure you speak whale? While scientists don't know what they're saying. They use 13 audio buoys off the coast of Massachusetts to determine when a whale is in the area. If the whale is an endangered right whale, the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries will send out an advisory to all boats in the area. We don't issue them like gangbusters so that they have no effect. You know, we really want to make sure that people understand that this we're, we're serious when we issue them, not just like whales, whales, you know, everywhere. Aaron Burke, a protected species specialist with the state, studies the habits of all whales, but focuses on the right whale. The largest effort to protect whales from ships like these is happening right now off the coast of Massachusetts. New regulations have changed shipping paths that will reduce ship strikes by over 70 percent. And that the shipping lanes at the time were running right through the, you know, the largest patch of sightings. Less than two years ago, the traffic separation scheme shifted shipping lanes northward by just four miles. Early indications are that it's working. So by moving it four miles to the north, they think that we've hopefully decreased the number of times the large whales come into contact with the large ships. While the old lanes had over 60,000 whale sightings, the new lanes have a fifth of that number. With the record number of endangered right whales in the Massachusetts Bay, came a record number of births. They 39 calves were born, um, and usually in the Bay of Fundy in the summer, they'll see another couple new calves um, that nobody had seen in the southeast. So the number may tick up a little bit, maybe get up to like 42 or something. Even if the population rebounds into the thousands, the question is, can the area handle the influx of whales? Carrying capacity of the Gulf of Maine for right whales, um, and it's you know, maybe not 10,000 individuals like yeah. people have said or, or thought that it is, that it may only be 500 or something like that. If this spring's record whale numbers are an indication, the tide may finally be turning for the North Atlantic right whale. Later this year, the whales will migrate south to reproduce, and marine biologists are hopeful another record number will return to Massachusetts.
Massachusetts waters next spring. In Boston, for BUTV 10, I'm Justin Abraham.